welcome back everyone to the video series on SAP build process automation training with me Anubhav. In our last session we talked about how to test your SAP BTP workflow with the help of Postman tool by creating a destination and a service key and utilizing the same to be able to trigger the workflow. In our today's session we will learn about how did we add a condition to the process flow and then utilize that condition to auto approve our business process. So let's get started into the system. Before we start, if you like this video series, kindly share, subscribe the channel and share this video series with your colleagues so they can also learn SAP build process automation on YouTube for free. With that, let's get started. So as you can see, here is our SAP build process automation cockpit, the process builder, and we have added a condition. So what I want to do is I want to automatically approve the process flow for the sales order if the sales order amount is less than 500 euros. So I click on plus button and added a control and event and a condition. So you can see the condition which I've already added over here. And if I open the condition editor you can see we have added a condition that if the net amount is less than or equal to 500 euros then automatically approve my business process so we are sending an approval email if the condition fulfill and ending the process if the condition is not fulfilled which means the order amount is greater than 500 euros we will proceed further to follow our regular business process. So let's go ahead and test this build process. I will head over back to the system and I will give here a process with order type OR with an amount as let's say 480 euros. So now I can just go back and trigger this process. You can see it's executed and since the amount is less than 480 euros i should be getting an email to my email box automatically that the process was auto approved so this is how we can actually go ahead and manage and approve our business process automatically with a condition so let me go back to my mailbox and here we are you can see i have received an email with auto approval for my order which says your order was auto approved fantastic that leads me to to uh, go back and check the log as well so we go to sap business process build monitoring and go to process and workflow instances and then we can check here the already completed processes there you go and when i search that i can see that the log clearly tells me that an auto approval email was sent because our check condition seems to be truthy and hence it sent an email to my personal email id with auto approval cool so this is how we can utilize sap build process automation to add a if condition and process flow our code in accordance to the condition if you enjoy this session thank you so much for attending and i hope to see you in my next episode in the same video series you can also check the entire video series link in the description of current video with that anubhav signing out thank you once again for attending and goodbye